Before using a guillotine, make sure that your smock is done up, that your sleeves are rolled down, that your hair is tied up, that there's no jewellery dangling, and that all tassels on clothing or long hair etc are safely tucked away. A sheet metal guillotine is used to produce straight line cuts through various types of metals in a shearing process. There are several hydraulically operated rams that drop down to clamp the workpiece when you've set the workpiece at the correct position. This is followed by the blade lowering down and cutting the material. It's imperative that you don't try and force your fingers under the guard plate and you do not put your arms behind the machine whilst it's running. The green button turns the system on. A foot pedal on a movable control unit operates the blade. There are two stop buttons, one on the foot control unit and one on the main control panel. There's a light guard at the rear of the machine. This is a safety feature which will stop the machine operating if there's an obstruction between the beams such as a piece of material or a person. The machine will not turn on if the beam has been broken and will need resetting before you can commence using the blue button on the side of the machine at the rear. To start the guillotine, make sure that both emergency stops have been released. Then press the blue button to release the light guard and then press the green button on the front of the control panel. If you follow these steps correctly, you'll hear a loud hydraulic pump start running. Make sure your cut lines are marked on your workpiece. Place the workpiece onto the machine bed and slide it under the guard plate whilst looking into the top of the machine through the openings. You'll see your workpiece through the openings as it approaches the blade. Line up your cut line with the blade edge. When you're happy with the position of the cut, press the foot pedal to operate the rams and the blade. The pedal will need to be held down until the blade has reached its furthest down position and then it can be released. If you release the pedal prematurely then it may not have cut through your workpiece. Once you've completed your cuts, press either of the two emergency stops to stop the machine running. <laughs>